basically you put this on, put it on the back of your crank, and just snug the bolts in there. And then you put the bell housing on, take your ring, which I'll show you after I get my bell housing done. Take this ring, it's super, the tolerance is super close on this thing. And then if you get this thing on there, and then you put your bell housing on, this ring should slide in the bell housing opening, and that means she is indexed in there. Um, this thing, if it works, gonna be sweet. Um, saves a lot of time with the indexing and offset uh, um, dowel pins to get it right. So, well, um, my new indexing tool, I won't tell you guys what. This is the coolest tool in the world. So once you get the dowels right, I'm set, this thing gives you about 4 thousandths clearance. So if it goes in there, you're good. Money. Coolest tool I've ever bought. Seen a couple guys have them. I pull it out. Basically what you get, bolts to, right to the back of my crank. It uh, goes in the hole in the back of the crank. You just bolt it down. And once you put this ring on, like I said, this ring is super tight fit. And if it goes inside the bell housing, you're within specs. It's four thousandths. Um, so you don't have to use an index anymore and screw around. Um, I did have to put some different dowel pins in to make it line up perfect, but we're good to go. Uh, we only got, not next week and the weekend after, we're heading to North Carolina to do some testing. So Joker, be ready. All right.